Hi, it's Lila here. Welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can make elderberry aronia infused brandy. It makes a nice evening um, treat, uh, especially if you're outside and you're working all day or you've uh, been shoveling and you just want to warm your body up. This is actually a perfect way to do so. So we have some dried elderberries here with two sticks of cinnamon. This is one cup of elderberries. I love these cups. They're from uh, the Pioneer Woman and it's actually a measuring cup. I love this. And also we have um, aronia, dried aronia here. Now I like I call the aronia my kingberry and I call elderberry my queenberry and I like marrying them up uh, for nutrition uh, health benefit reasons. I like putting them together. Now if you just like the elderberry taste uh, then go ahead and just put elderberry um, with the cinnamon sticks and your brandy and we'll make like a tincture out of it. We'll let it sit for a couple of weeks. We'll extract all the nutrients out of the elderberries and then you just simply strain it off and then sip. Um, with the aronia, it's more of a tart flavor. So I find actually they go well. Now, what I like to do is actually go a little bit further and add some elderflower. Elderflower is great to reduce fever. It, it has many medicinal benefits so go and research um, because I don't want to give any medical advice but I love my elderflower tea so you can actually marry all of these up together all right so we're about to get started so I have four containers now I'm going to try different recipes to see exactly what I would like now I'm going to start off by putting a one cinnamon stick in each of the jars all right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill up our jars. Now I put one fourth cup of elderberries dried with a stick of cinnamon. So I'm going to go ahead and if you have a funnel, my funnel is too small so it was blocking. If you have a larger funnel, you can use a funnel or even just the sheet of paper uh, and roll it up like a funnel. You can do that. Or you can just do it uh, very patiently. This one I want to put elderberry and aronia. Now be sure to label your, uh, your little uh, infused Brandies. So this way here you know exactly what's in it and what flavors you like. Let's experiment. Now, like I said, you can add clover, you can add whatever you would like. All right, and I'm going to use one fourth of aronia also. So it's fun to do a little experiment like this to find out what flavors um, would be really really good. Now you can you can experiment in many different flavors. Um, I'm actually going as long as your ingredients are dried. So and if you don't have the cinnamon stick Simply go with um, with uh, powdered. This is ginger. This is freeze dried ginger. So I'm going to add ginger to this one, and I'm going to put the aroma on this one. So this one has the ginger, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the elderflower also. So I put a teaspoon of ginger, teaspoon of elderflower. So this one I just want to finish up with just the aronia. I want to see the taste with the elderberry and the aronia. 
And then it's fun because I'm gonna have everybody over and then they can help sample and let me know what they like the best. Because then you can continue. Once you have the brandy infused, you can add this to honey. Now if you add this to honey, then you have like a syrup, a brandy syrup. Wait, that's not working. Right. Okay, great. So now we have our elderberry and aronia in this one. We have our elderflower, we have our ginger, we have our aronia and elderberry. This one we have elderberry and cinnamon, and this one we only have elderberry and cinnamon. So now comes the brandy time. I don't drink alcohol very much, um, so I have no clue if this is a good brand or not. So we're going to fill it up and infuse it. About up to there. That's good. So here we go. This is the elderflower, the cinnamon stick, the ginger, the elderberry, and the aronia. Now, if you're a vodka drinker, you can simply do the same. I don't know how it would taste. Actually, we should experiment on that. Okay. I'm hoping that I leave some brandy left because I, what I would like to do is I would like, oh, this smells strong. Woo, I don't know if I'm a brandy girl. Uh, but I do like it with brandy and honey in a tea. So you can make this and then add this um, to your tea with honey, or you can mix honey in with this afterwards. There we go. So actually having uh, four bottles, I can end up with eight to 10 bottles with honey. And then everybody has some for the winter. There we go. So what I have here is a clean, hot, everything's been sterilized. The bottle was sterilized. The caps are sterilized. Even though it's brandy and it's alcohol, it'd be fine, but I just wanna make sure. I should have um, had them onto a little paper towel just to dry off so the water gets into the jars. So I'm just wiping it down. There we go. It was that easy. I hope this video was very helpful for you, and I hope you join me on my journey with the elderberry and aronias. Till next time.